you wear the hairy hand, which is oh. a... Um, you get it when you're about 15. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the hairy hand is a disembodied hand that would appear um, from nowhere if you're driving along uh, the B3021. <laughs> um, and it would steer you off the road. <laughs> but it's just... Officer. Officer. Yeah. Officer. Yeah. Yeah. And it smelled of cider, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it dropped its point on me and then it drove me off the road. <laughs> One of the people that claimed uh, he'd been steered off the road by the hairy hand, uh, he described it as invisible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless him for trying. <laughs> I had uh, suspected hemorrhoids. Congratulations. <laughs> so I phoned up the doctor. And he went, what? And, and I was like, can I get an appointment? I think I've got hemorrhoids. And they were like, oh, we've got to do an over-the-phone consultation. The doctor will phone you back. And she phoned me back and she was like, could you describe your symptoms? And I've never really had, like, an embarrassing illness down there before. So I described my symptoms downstairs. And it was, I was quite embarrassed by it, because, as you can see, I'm not I'm stumbling don't here. No. Don't worry, no-one will know. <laughs> and then I got to the end and she went, um, are you the comedian, no. Josh Whitaker? <laughs> I had somebody ask me that while I was having a colonoscopy. <laughs> what, they asked you if you were Josh Whittaker? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I wanted to know if I was Josh Whittaker, and it turned out there'd been a misunderstanding with a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like the idea they're in your colon, they go, that looks like Josh Whittaker. <laughs> I'd recognise that anyway. Can I just say to everybody as a health warning, if you do not need a colonoscopy if all you've had is beetroot. I'm just going to put it out there. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, have you had quizzing experiences? I found out a family thing at a pub quiz. That's not your mother? <laughs> <laughs> tie break's a tie break, though, isn't it? <laughs> um, <laughs> so, I've always been told that there's this guy um, I'm a descendant of called Sabin Baring Gould, who wrote the lyrics to Abide With Me. That's the claim to fame in the family? The claim to fame in the family. OK. And it came up in a pub quiz, and mm. I was like, here we bloody go. Watch out here, Sabin bearing gold. And it wasn't him. <laughs> and the whole thing had been some lie passed down in the family. No! <laughs> and people were like, that's not even a name. Who... <laughs> that's a firm of chartered surveyors. <laughs> Moriarty. This is a British one which I frankly don't understand, OK? <laughs> so, you are blindfolded, you hold each other's left hands, one of you shouts out, are you there, Moriarty? The other one shouts, yes, and the one who said, are you there, Moriarty, then tries to hit them with the newspaper. <laughs> I'll be the shouter. OK. <laughs> well, you take turns, you take oh, turns. Oh, all right, OK. Yes. I mean, obviously, I'm going to have to hit the target, but I'm not sure how comfortable I am hitting yes. a woman on national television. <laughs> It's Susan, you'll be all right. <laughs> right. Think yes. about the man over the road. Oh, okay, thanks. Left, left hand <laughs> held. Give me your hand. Left, left hand, Left yeah. hand <laughs> held. OK. OK, go. Are you there, Moriarty? <laughs> yes! <laughs> well, I'll try again. You try again now, Susan. Go on, Susan. Uh, are, are you there, Moriarty? I, I'm, no, I'm not, no. <laughs> Oh, oh. Oh. Do you know what? Yeah. I'd love the idea that someone has turned on this for the first time and gotten... <laughs> <Do you know laughs> <what? laughs> it's really changed without Stephen, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Stephen would never have allowed this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, this is good, this is good. I've found this, so I don't need to... Right, you yeah. two, come on, let's have a go. Do we stand up? So, no. <coughs> One. <laughs> so now hold left hands. Wait. I'm not going near him, he's an animal. <laughs> hold left hands. Well, right, okay. Got you. So, Josh shouts, Are you there, Moriarty? Are you there, Moriarty? <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow. Yeah. Ow. What? So, you have to say. How am I doing? <laughs> so, wait, can we just do it again? Josh is going to shout, lost... Are you there, Moriarty? Alan's right. going to shout, Yes, to indicate his location, and then he's right. going to try and escape Josh hitting him. Okay? Right, Josh. Uh, are you there, Moriarty? Yes. Now try and escape. 
film, but no. mine wasn't as rigid as Alan's. <laughs> Let's have a look at our third record holder. Now, here is an astonishing thing. That is Stephen Wildish, and he beat Mo Farah. Whoa! And what did he beat Mo Farah? Oh, most cool there. consumer. No. Yes. Uh, he held the world record in 2014, 39.91 seconds. In 2017, Steve Wildish smashed that in just 26.3 What's the distance, sorry? seconds. 100 it's meters. 100 metres, yeah. So he had tried earlier in the year, but his sack had been deemed too small. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I said. I said. I said. <laughs> in this weather, I've had the same problem. <laughs> Mo Farah substantially is in our audience. Please welcome Stephen oh. Wildish. Oh. I mean, how did you know, Steve, that you're good at doing a sack race? Uh, I was unbeaten since school, so I did all the <laughs> school races. And right. then... Did your mum say, oh, my boy is very good at sack racing? Yeah, she used to film the sack races at school. <laughs> Are you allowed to put your feet into the corners of the sack and kind of run along, or do you have to jump? You have to jump. You have to jump. Yeah. OK. Would you mind yeah. having a go for us and showing us your Ooh. technique? But, yes! But wait, we have to have a competitor, so I feel the only person I know who's been and reported at the Paralympics uh, is Josh Widdicombe. I would like Josh to go. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Um, I won. I didn't do the sack race. I did a race at school called the dressing up race. Oh, I know. I won two <laughs> years in a row. Really? I and left <laughs> primary school undefeated. I now want to see Mo Farah doing the dressing up race, but there we are. <laughs> so please be careful, both of you. I tell you, have to hold the. <laughs> I use one arm out, a bit of balance. Whoa. OK. No, yeah. <laughs> Ready, boys? Imagine if I win. How amazing this is. If you be. win, then you'll be the world record holder. Oh, my <laughs> giddy arm. On your marks. Go, Get Josh. set, go. Go, I thought, <laughs> I, I dared to dream. Yeah, you did. I saw the headlines. I thought, this is it. This is uh, my moment. Yeah, well I could record. see you were keeping a bit back for the final. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, finally, I found my thing. But you hadn't. <laughs> Josh, this is going to make you feel good. The elves tell me that uh, Baring Gould, your relative, mm. did write Onward Christian Soldiers. Oh, Onward Christian Soldiers. Oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh, it's what? a better song. Yeah. It's, a be it's a bigger hit, isn't it? Do you feel better now? I genuinely feel on cloud nine. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, last year, mm. you yeah. told us all about the hairy hands of Dartmoor. Yes. Is that right? They grab the steering wheel of your car and drive you off the road. Yeah. And I wonder if you could just remind us which road you said it was. Uh, the B3021? Yes. <laughs> this is, I can promise you, one of the finest quibbles that QI has ever received. Uh, <laughs> there is a gentleman called Ian Dunn who has written in to point out that the hairy hands of Dartmoor actually haunt the B3212 and not the B3021. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm afraid you are having points docked this I... time. Well, posthumously. Yes. <laughs> it couldn't be more wrong. The B3212 runs across Dartmoor between Exeter and Yelverton via the hamlet of Post Bridge. That's where the yeah, of course, hands yeah. hang out. The B3021, I'm afraid, goes from Old Windsor to Datchet in Berkshire. Remember that next time you make a joke. Yeah. <laughs> just say that he watched me talk about these ghost hands that appear and drive you off the road and his quibble yeah. was yes. with the number of the road. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't just let Ian down or the no. show down, you've let yourself down, yeah. haven't you? In many ways, I think I've let Jesus down. <laughs> <laughs> and his hairy hand. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Do remember to subscribe to the QI channel and click here to watch more videos.